Hey everyone, welcome to question two associated with the normal distribution and skewed data lecture. Now this again is a common, a commonly testable concept and it's very straightforward and should be easy. So hopefully you'll feel comfortable um, after the lecture and this uh, example question. Um, as always, I recommend you pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to see whether you did it correctly. So in this case, we measure the systolic blood pressure among 10 patients and find the following values. We are then asked to calculate the mean value, the median value, and the mode. So if we remember, the mean value is the sum of values divided by the total number of patients. So this would be 130 plus 142 plus all the other values plus 144 all over 10. And I would encourage you to use your calculator function uh, in the MBME exam when you do this, and you would get a mean value of 141.9. We're then asked to calculate the median value, which we remember is the 50th percentile value. So to do this, you have to first order the data. So if we look at this data, we'd say 130 is the smallest, and then 134, and then 140, and then 142, then 144, then um, 150, and then 155. And if you have an odd number of values, then it'll be the value that falls right in the middle. So if you have 11 values, it would be the sixth value. But in this case, because we have an even number of values, in order to get the median, what we have to do is average the fifth and the sixth value because there's no real middle value. It's like these are both kind of on either side of this middle, which is between the two. So we would do 140 plus 142 divided by two equals 141. So that's the one trick to the median is whether there's an odd number of observations or even will kind of affect the way you determine it. And then lastly, we're asked to determine the mode. And we remember that the mode is just the most frequent value observed. So most frequent value. And if we look at our set of observations, we see that 140 is the most frequent value because it appears three times. So the mode in this case would be 140. For part D of the question we're asked, if an 11th patient is added who has a systolic blood pressure of 170, how will the averages be proportionally affected? And we remember that um, if a data set is skewed, the mean value is the most affected, followed by the median value, followed by the mode value. So in this case, because 170 represents you know, a skewed value, you know, a positively skewed value in that it's like bigger than the averages that we're finding, we would expect the mean to be most skewed in the positive direction, followed by the median, and then followed by the mode. And actually the mode wouldn't actually be affected in this case. Um, so again, this feels very straightforward and you know, can sometimes feel really simple, but you wanna make sure you have this down such that you can get a very easy points on the test. You know, if you had trouble with this question, I recommend you go back, rewatch the lecture, and then come back and reattempt the question. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.